Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India This is Dr. Pradhan here. Welcome to NPTEL project on econometric modeling. So, today we will continue the logit and probit models. In the last lectures, we have uh, just uh, entered to the uh, structure of uh, re regression models where the dependent variable is dummy in nature and uh, one or several independent variables. So, uh, if that is the particular format, then obviously there are three different forms of the models. One is called as a linear probability model, another is a logit model, another is a probit model. So, that means, so the a, a, a dummy dependent regression modeling is divided into uh, you know three typical formats. So, linear probability models, then uh, logit models, then probit models. Okay. So, this is called as a linear uh, uh, binary choice models, binary choice models or otherwise it is linear in nature and this is non-linear, this is non-linear and this is non-linear. Okay. We have discussed this details about the linear probability models where uh, we have found lots of uh, deep, uh, you know limitations. So, that limitation can be taken care of by logit model and probit models. This is logit model is a, a you know pure a use of the probability distributions, probability distributions and this is typically use of normal distributions, okay, normal distribution. That means, this is basically deals with the probability density function and this is for typical deals with the normal density functions, okay, PDF and NDF. So, uh, I will not again go in into this direction of linear probability models, I will quickly jump into the logit model which we have briefly highlighted in the last class means we how we have transferred this uh, or how we have to build the entire structure of logistic model. So, we will, we will quickly highlight that particular issue then we will come to a particular application because you will get the job is very interesting or uh, uh, the if model is very interesting if we apply directly to a particular problem. So, otherwise it is just like mathematical derivations nothing else or like. So, what you have to do? So, uh, for for logit model specifically we will take let uh, we will assume that P is probability of success probability of success ok. Then 1 minus P is obviously probability of failures ok. So, then we will define p equal to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus z. So, which is nothing but e to the power z by 1 plus e to the power z. Then 1 minus p i is observed with respect to 1 minus e to the power z by 1 plus e to the power z, which is nothing but 1 by 1 plus e to the power z. Then we dis divide, the, uh, we get the, we make the division p by 1 minus p, which is equal to uh, e to the power z by 1 plus e, e to the power z all divided by 1 by 1 plus e to the power z. So, this is cancel. So, which is simply equal to e to the power z. Okay. So, now what we have done? So we put logarithmic it means you have to take you uh, use uh, apply logarithm both the sides then we will put uh, we will get p uh, p, log p by 1 minus p is equal to z log e. Okay. Z log e. So, log e is equal to 1. So, obviously, the model will be log p by 1 minus p equal to z. Okay. So, this is how the logistic model is all about. So, now, uh, now what, what happens? So, this p by 1 minus p is called as a here odd ratio. This is otherwise represented as a odd ratio. That means, uh, this is the ratio between ratio between this is the ratio between the probability of one group ratio between the probability ratio between the probability of one group probability of one group and the probability of other group and the probability 
of other group ok. It can be also other way around. So, that means, if p by 1 minus p is odd ratio, then obviously, uh, uh, this p p equal to o odd by odds means odd is the ratio between this odd by o 1 plus odd ok. This is o 1, pi 1 by o 1 or 1 by 1 by 1 plus odds ok. So, this is how it can be calculated ok. So, these are the two our tar target is to find out the odd ratio. Uh, what uh, how will you proceed for that? Okay, so we will directly because here uh, here the model will be specifically log p by one minus p equal to z. Okay, so z is here equal to say beta zero plus beta one x one i. Okay, okay. So obviously the model will be complete model will be log p by one minus p. Okay. Complete, uh, equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 i plus u. Okay, this is simple logistic model, simple logit model, simple, simple logit model. So, when we will go for com, you know multi uh, in multivariate logistic model, then obviously the function will be like this log p by 1 minus p okay, is equal to beta 0 plus summation beta i into x i i equal to 1 to n plus u i. Okay. So, this is obviously i g here, i g here. So, this is the multivariate logistic model, this is simple logistic model. So, that means, you just summarize. So, logistic, uh, logistic simple logistic model, this is simple logistic, uh, logistic model is a uh, log p by 1 minus p equal to uh, beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus u then uh, multi multivariate uh, multivariate multivariate logistic multivariate logistic is log p by 1 minus p is equal to beta 0 plus summation beta i x i i equal to 1 to n plus u ok. So, uh, you see here. So, uh, we start with a simple logistic uh, logistic model. So, what, what you have to do? So, we will we'll take the same problem. So, let let uh, y uh, which is you know starting point is y, y equal to you can say uh, having house ok. Having house means on house ok. Having on house and x is equal to income of the household income of the household income of the household okay so this is how you have to represent the structures so what you have to do here uh, we like to investigate whether uh, people having uh, means whether there is any connections between income levels and uh, uh, people having on house so that means whether income has an impact on having house in a particular city. So, now the way we have discussed the same problem in the case of binary choice models, it was very simple or very easy to understand, but here there is a lots of complexity. For instance, uh, what uh, what we have done in the case of uh, binary choice models, so we have uh, uh, we have i sample observation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 like this or uh, we have income level say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, okay, these are the income levels then we have we have uh, we have uh, you know y which is nothing but dummy uh, which is having yes no situation okay yes no yes yes no uh, yes 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 okay so this is how the structure is all about all right so now what we have to do this is y structures uh, dependent variables so we will transfer this d into 1 0 1 uh, 0 1 1 1 okay so this is how the transformation is all about so then finally we will integrate d upon function of x that means di equal to alpha plus beta x i plus u okay so this is how the structure is all about in the case of this is linear probability models okay but now if we apply logistic models so for instance for the logistic case logistic case so the, uh, this is obviously represented as a p ok p is the probability of success then obviously we will determine a, a, you know 1 minus p probability of failures so, so let me put it a, a other way so here 
i uh, i equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so we'll take original figures here so what we have discussed in the case of binary choice model so this is family uh, household income household income so in the uh, for samples of uh, sample size 1 so we will take 8 we will take 8 then this is 16 then uh, then and then then it is uh, 8 then 20 20 then 19 then 15 then 25 then 20 then 13 then 12 okay so this is the sample size okay so the now uh, having house having a uh, having on house okay having on house so that means it is no yes no yes uh, uh, no yes no yes okay and then no uh, yes then yes yes then no no okay so this is how this structure is all about so now what we have to do we will transfer into d d is 0 1 uh, 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 okay so now we are integrating this and this this is x and this is y okay so now we are regressing d upon uh, function of x this is our linear probability model so now in the case of logistic model so instead of d we will call it a p okay so then we have to define 1 minus p okay so 1 minus p means this is 0 uh, uh, this is 1 then obviously 1 minus 1 it will be 0 then this is uh, 1 minus 0 means uh, 1 then this is 0 this is 1 this is 0 this is uh, this is 0 this is 0 this is 1 this is 1 so that means it is just opposite okay this is just opposite so now p p is this much 1 minus p is this much so what you have to do so we need to have a p 1 minus p so 1 minus p means 0 by uh, 0 by 1 so it will be 0 then 1 by 0 this is infinitive then 0 by 1 0 then 1 by 0 infinitive then 0 by 1 0 1 by 0 infinitive 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 0 0 0 so if it is coming infinitive infinitive then obviously you cannot uh, uh, you know uh, estimate the model so that means if we, we need models p by 1 minus p okay so this is how p by 1 minus p equal to alpha uh, beta 0 plus beta 1 beta 1 x 1 okay this is that means we like to integrate we like to integrate this with this okay we like to integrate this with this okay so this is p minus 1 minus p so now uh, this is uh, this is this system is totally inconsistent because uh, we c we cannot estimate once the figures are infinite in nature so that means the model has a limitation so that means whatever problems we have discussed in the binary choice models the same problem cannot be discussed in the case of logistic models but uh, still we can solve this particular problem in the in the form of a logistic function so we have to change the structures okay what what you have to do so we use here the original figures so what you have to do so we apply the real probability here so what is the probability so means probability what is the concept of probability probability means the simple of uh, the generally probability is uh, decided by n by n case small n by capital n means it is the individual observation by total observation so what you have to do in this particular uh, in this particular structures so we have taken so, so only n case okay so now what you have to do we will take n and then uh, you will define the small n uh, ultimately the solution can be obtained for instance what you have to do so uh, uh, forget about to uh, you know uh, individual size so what you have to do here so we will take a family income here so family income is 8 16 8 20 19 5 19 15 25 20 13 12 so these are the pictures are there so what you have to do with respect to family uh, family income so then you have a sa samples okay so take n number of households okay n number of households uh, say 40 then uh, means we are taking 40 households having income level of 8 okay then we will take 50 household having income level of 16 then uh, we will take 30 household income level of 8 okay then 20 household 20 household income level of 20 okay then uh, then th 50 80 household income level of 19 then similarly 65 household income is 15 
then we will take a 35 household income level of 25 ok then 60 household income level of 30 ok then you will say we will find 45 household income level of 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 ok so then another 55 this is uh, like this 55 ok so this is how the so this is household so uh, what we are doing so that means uh, oh, this these are all our family income structure so it is 8 8 8 8, uh, 8 dollar per day 16 dollar per day 8 dollar per day 20 dollar per day 19 dollar per day 15 dollar per day 25 dollar per day 20 dollar per day then 13 dollar per day and final 12 dollar per day so that means we have taken 10 different samples so oh, in the case of linear probability model so we transfer uh, with the with respect to that income level then we ask the correspondents whether they have house or not if they have a house yes then we will put yes why then if they have not then we will put n then accordingly we will transfer yes to 1 then no to 0 then you will go for its as usual ordinary process of estimation but you know in this case so we are getting the order ratio in infinite I means undefined so it cannot be possible to uh, possible to go for you can say estimation so what you have to do instead of uh, in instead of collecting data from a particular respondent so we will we will collect data in a particular city say for instance we will choose a homogeneous group so where income is say eight dollars per day then you will find out there 40 40 persons are there so what you have to do uh, we will classify uh, let, let us say what you have to do uh, you, you all you add all together so, okay so the moment we will add all together then obviously so you get to know what is the total sample size here so out of total samples at the moment you will get all these respondents information so let us say 500 then you will see what are the total income variations for instance out of 500 respondents your income different uh, income structure is like this uh, it will start vary from 8 to say 25 okay so uh, either you put it in ascending order or you put uh, put in descending order or as usual uh, no hard and fast rule so your family income is this much with respect to this uh, sample observations then within this particular family income so to you investigate number of households so, those who income level is similar lines for instance uh, first case we uh, we we take 40 different households whose income is 8 okay so that means we, we what we will do so we will find out a ratio here so what you have to do we will find out a ratio here called as a ni small ni so that means it is nothing but 8 by 14 okay uh, uh, otherwise it we call it p p i j n by 14 this is this is uh, this is the small n you say and this is capital n okay so then 40 household are there so 8 by 14 okay so this is uh, this is how you have to find out 8 by 40 then you know 16 by 50 then 8 by 13 then 20 by 20 then 19 by 58 15 by 65 then 25 by 35 then 20 by 60 then uh, then 13 by 45 then 12 by 55 okay so this is how you have to transport this data so the moment you will transport all this data then uh, now you will find some figures then you will find out 1 minus pi okay so you can able to find out because all are in a, a, a ratio format for 0 point something or 1 so that means this particular items will vary from 0 to 1 okay this item particularly 0 to uh, uh, items but in the case of binary choice model so we are taking this extreme and this extreme so now in this particular case so we are taking all together so okay so the different st set structure all together so then we will find out 1 minus p then you will fill up this gap once you fill up this particular gap then obviously uh, what you have to do uh, uh, then you have to find out the ratio so p by 1 minus p okay 1 minus p then obviously the moment you will find out p by 1 minus p uh, then you have to find out its log okay so log upon p by 1 minus p okay so this is how uh, this is how you have to observe so now log of 1 by 1 minus p has to be obtained okay so this is also p by 1 minus p has to be obtained sequentially okay so that means now uh, now so this is uh, uh, you know this is uh, this is your family income and this is your log transformation so what you have to do 
So, now you have to integrate uh, the log transformation with that uh, you know family income. So, th that will give you the indications. Okay. So, that means, uh, it is yes, uh, uh, means it is question of yes no situation, but it, it is in a different format. Okay. So, that means, here the structure is uh, we ask the 40 respondents. So, uh, 40 respond, uh, respondents. So, the moment you will ask the 40, uh, 40 respondents, then uh, 8 persons, uh, 8, 8 families uh, response is that they have house. That means, rest 32, per, uh, 32 families having not any house. So, that means, in a particular group, homogeneous groups. So, we are investigating or you are taking a, a response from 40, 40 households, uh, then uh, uh, out of 40, 8 are having, 8 are having, uh, you can say, uh, their family uh, uh, means having their house. Then we investigate 50 people, then out of uh, which 16 having uh, house. Okay. Similarly, we in investigate 30, then 8 having house. Similarly, we investigate 20 people, so then uh, all 20 people have their own house. Similarly, we investigate 50, then 19 people have their uh, you know house. Similarly, we have 65, uh, we investigate 65 uh, uh, gr group, then 15 people have their uh, you know, um, a, a, a house like this. We have to classify the uh, a entire structure. That means, instead uh, in the binary choice models, you are specifically targeting one particular section of the people. Okay, so then you are going. Pro but here, what you have to do in that particular logit pro logit model? So what you have to do? You take this particular uh, one sample, this particular one sample, this model. So that means you will take uh, this structure is all together very broad broad in nature means instead of going a particular specific uh, area or a specific uh, small cluster you have to go to big clusters so where uh, within that cluster there is uh, some kind of homogeneous setup so that homogeneous setup will give a signal for the uh, logistic functions okay so now with this particular structure so we have to calculate the uh, we have to calculate the uh, movement of this logistic functions all right Okay. So, now uh, uh, this you know uh, what you have to do. So, P generally lies between here 0 to 1. Uh, okay. So, then obviously the Z here so will be lies between minus infinitive to minus infinitive to plus infinitive okay. or a uh, you know logistic functions logistic function it will be move from minus infinitive to plus infinitive. Okay. So, this is 0 to 1 all right. So, now so uh, what we have to do so it is normally normally the structure is that so uh, logistic format is that so p equal to uh, e to the power z by 1 plus e to the power z okay p is the uh, where uh, where z is can z can be written as a uh, beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus u okay this is for simple model so which we have already discussed okay be, because here the target is so, we like to know what is the uh, means family income and uh, they whether they have house or not means in uh, our uh, exp means hypothesis is that a person having a higher income may have own house and person having lower income they have not house this is our uh, hypothesis. So, accordingly we, uh, we uh, gather the information and you d apply the particular models that is whether binary choice model or logistic model then we will come to conclusion that what whether it has a specific implications or you can say uh, 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 means a, a specific uh, whether there is any linkage between this income and uh, having household or not. Okay. So, now uh, we find the, uh, means we, uh, what we have received here. So, there is a uh, you know different methodological difference and you know there is also uh, sample wise different structures. So, uh, uh, means all together the structure is very uh, complicated in the case of logistics. So, to, simple, to, to simplify that particular structure, so you have to redesign or restructure the sample, uh, sample size, so that uh, it can be, be possible to prepare the or, uh, or it can be possible to use this logistic models. Okay. So, logistic model is uh, typically more advanced than the binary choice models, where the uh, format is more or less you know. Uh, in the case of binary choice model, the format is 0 to 1, but in the case of logistic model, so we are taking the various ranges of probability that is from 0 to 1, then we are integrating with the uh, uh, you know uh, having 
their income level. So, if this uh, if this uh, this particular item is significant, then you can justify that uh, you know family income has a substantial impact on the uh, uh, people saving their house or not. Okay. So, this is how you have to observe. So, the, uh, in addition to logit models, there is another model is called as a probit models. Okay. So, in addition to logit models, so there is another model called as a uh, probit model. So, what what you have to do that in the case of probit model. So, let us see here. Yes. Okay. So, what is the probit model? I mean, uh, typically probit model is the a uh, uh, one uh, second different structure of uh, uh, nonlinear uh, nonlinear response models. For instance, uh, we have already highlighted that uh, you know your domain dependent regression modeling is basically divided into linear format and nonlinear format. Under nonlinear format, this is this is linear format means binary choice model. This is logit model, and this is probit model. Okay, so this is typically based on the probability density function, and this is based pro typically based on normal uh, normal density functions okay so now otherwise the structure is more or less same so what what you have to do ultimately uh, in uh, if you will integrate all these three all these three then the setup is like this way the di equal to or di equal to so, uh, beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus u so this is the simple models this is the simple models and di equal to beta 0 beta 0 plus summation beta i x i i equal to 1 to n plus u this is for multivariate models ok multivariate models this is what a multivariate models ok so now uh, uh, in the uh, in whatever we have discussed in the binary choice model or logit model so we use simple model so let me first highlight this you know probit model uh, in the case of uh, a simple structure then we will discuss another problem which is uh, uh, based on a multivariate model so where the response variable is very much uh, means a dependent variable is very much categorical or uh, otherwise it's a domain nature where other variables are uh, other variables are completely uh, independent in nature and they are uh, uh, somewhat quantitative in nature so we uh, we are not mixing to, together but uh, uh, i mean uh, mixing means you see uh, in the last lectures we have discussed uh, the setup where a uh, depend, dependent variable is quantitative in nature and independent variable is qualitative in nature so we we discuss uh, one dependent with one uh, independent and one dummy variable then obviously one dependent with the several independent variables which are quantitative in nature and several and dummy in dummy independent variables which are uh, totally qualitative in nature but in this particular format so our independent variables may be one may be may, uh, multi, multiple in nature but uh, uh, dependent variable we are discussing only one level only because we are not touching upon the structural equation modeling so what we have done so like whatever we have discussed you know like bivariate trivariate and multivariate where why is you uh, always you know only dependent variables so here also same things so every case uh, your dummy variable is single ones uh, so for uh, this particular uh, dummy dependent regression modeling is concerned that means uh, one dependent variable is there which is uh, which is purely categorical in nature or bi uh, sometimes binary in nature and in other sides so we have series of uh, or you can say one independent variable that means uh, every times uh, the right hand side will be dummy then dummy with one independent variables then dummy with several independent variables that is multiplicity models and this is called as a simple model so now there are three different structures B binary choice model can be also integrated with this case or it can be integrated with this case then logit model can be also discuss under this set logit model can be also discuss under it only only difference is that this particular concept even if in the case of probit model these uh, these two are also same okay but only difference is with respect to di representation that means in the case of linear probability models so di is a, a di such that so it will be one for es situations and zero for otherwise okay so in the case of logit model in the case of logit models so this di 
d i is represented as a p i by 1 minus p i ok, 1 minus p i. So, this is a, a, a p, p i by 1 minus p, 1 minus p i where p is represented as a n by n, this is how the constant we have to add in the case of logit model, because if we apply one, 0 1 uh, structure in this logit model, then a, a, it will give you inconsistent setup. So, as a result, so we will take a large samples, then within large samples, the, uh, you have to ask 10 respondents, then you will see uh, out of 10 respondents, uh, how, how is their response. So, the probability level will be find out. So, with this basis of probability le uh, levels, then you have to find out the odd ratio and that to with the aspect with the help of odd ratio, we like to investigate the entire problem. So, now the way we have discussed this linear probability model and logit model. So, probit model also can be discussed in the similar fashion. So, now for probit models, probit, probit models. So, we, we use you know called as a normal density function. What is this normal density function? Normal density function is a represented as a normal distribution curve. So, that is nothing but 1 by 2 pi uh, square root into min, uh, minus infinity to uh, uh, I, uh, I, uh, 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 min, uh, it will start from minus infinity to e to the power minus z square by 2 dz. Okay? So, sometimes it can be it can be like this f inverse f inverse f inverse uh, i is equal to it is better it is put i here because sample observation is i. So, uh, I, I, I is equal to here f inverse f inverse p i. So, which is equal to uh, beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 so beta 1 x 1 plus u. Here again z is considered as a beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1. So, right. So, that means uh, the particular format can be written like this way. So, that means, uh, we, we in other words, we can put it even if in the you will put in the probability set. So, it will be like this q inverse p uh, or f inverse p f inverse p is equal to uh, equal to z. Okay. So, f inverse p equal to z. So, the way the way we will calculate you know uh, 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 log of log of p by 1 minus p is equal to z. So, this is case of logistic models, logist, logit models, this is called uh, sorry logit models, this is logit models, it is derived from logistic function in fact. So, this is f, f inverse p equal to z. So, this is derived for, uh, for uh, probit models, okay. this is for probit models, this is for probit models alright. So, now, um, so what is p here? So, this p is a function as a uh, you know minus infinity to uh, you know i or z it is better uh, since we are using z here. So, then it will be a z here. So, 1 by 2 pi 1 by 2 pi e, e, e to the power minus uh, you can say u square by 2 u dz okay? or 2 z dz. So, okay, this is how you have to uh, you have to calculate. Okay? So, that means you just make a comparison here. So, we have three different pro format. So, linear probability models, then uh, log uh, logit models, then probit models. Okay? Probit models. So, in, in, in what is the similarity? In similarity is that, so every time the uh, you know y and uh, y is a function of x. So, here y is also function of x, here y is a function of x. Okay? So, now this is simple models, this is simple one, this is also simple one then it, this is also simple one. Okay. So, now y as a function of uh, x 1 up to x 2 up to say x k. So, this is y upon x 1 up to x 2 up to x k, then this is y upon x 1 f to x 2 up to x k. So, it is better, better put x 1 here, x 1 here, x 1 here. So, right. so, now in the first simple, uh, simple setup means the what is the similarity here in both the uh, all the three cases this th uh, three uh, three different models are typically used in the case of dummy dependent uh, uh, econometric modeling okay so linear probability model logit model and probit model so similarity is that uh, it is uh, it is applied in the in a particular situation where the dependent variable is a dummy in nature or proxy, uh, dependent variable is a categorical or binary in nature. 
So, uh, simple model is y upon x 1, so y upon x 1, y upon x 1, though the functional form is completely different. Okay. So, now uh, this is simple model and this is mul uh, multivariate models, this is multi multivariate model, this is also multivariate model, multivariate model, this is also multivariate models. So, what you have to do? In the in the case in this particular structure, so we will write d i equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 beta 1 x 1. So, okay. so, here d categorically divided into 0 1 limit and in this case this particular logistic case. So, we will write uh, we will write log uh, log of p by 1 minus p okay, is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 beta 1 x 1 obviously, it is u here obviously, u is u is here. So, then uh, this you know here p lies between 0 1 okay. this is also binary in number, but the uh, range of the samples will be in between 0 to 1. Okay. So, in the case of probit model, so we uh, we use uh, q uh, means uh, inverse uh, psi inverse uh, okay, psi inverse uh, p psi inverse p a psi, a psi inverse p is equal to uh, is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus u okay beta 1 x 1 plus u okay so this uh, you know this particular uh, length will be from you know uh, it will start from minus infinity to uh, minus infinity to z okay uh, that is uh, that is how the range is all about means z is alpha plus beta x okay so, this is how the minus infinity to z. So, this is the total shape. So, so the, uh, the entire structure is like this way. So, what we have observed here is the right hand side all the sides are uh, uh, very much equal. So, okay. so, only the difference is the left hand right, left hand uh, left hand structure. So, that means in the case of binary binary choice models. So, it is the simple structure. So, we will put simply d i then the transfer all the sample point is to 0, 0 1 binary format and in this particular structures. So, uh, we may transfer into 0 into 1 format, but uh, it is going against the uh, uh, means uh, the structure is going towards the inconsistent level. So, what you have to do instead of you know individual sample, we will take group samples here. Okay. So, the only difference is uh, these two cases you will go for group samples, okay. group samples rather than individual samples. This is called as a individual sample case, a individual sample case. Okay. So, it is case of individual sample case. So, now what you have to do? Uh, we have to uh, we have to find out what is the speciality of these three models. Okay. So, that means it is little bit advanced, but the reason is that uh, here uh, here uh, uh, here it is little bit more complicated and advanced than this one and this is more complicated than this one, it is more advanced. Uh, you know by uh, by statistical angles, this particular function is more reliable because uh, it is follows the normal distribution shape. If anything attached with normal distribution, then the accuracy of the model will be very high. So, that is why probit model is better choice than the logic model. Similarly, logit model is better choice than the linear probability model. But out of all these three, uh, most typical uh, you know this uh, uh, so most of the instances, we like to use this logit model. Okay, because uh, uh, the outcome of the logit model and the outcome of probit model is uh, more or less same. Okay only difference is it is a functional format. One case we are transforming the group sample uh, means transforming the variables into logistic function and another case we are transforming the information uh, through you can say normal distribution function that is the only difference between a uh, logit model and probit model otherwise the setup is more or less same. So, okay. so, this is the simple setup which we have discussed in the case of you know uh, multivariate models in the case of multivariate models. So, d i equal to simply a beta 0 plus summation beta i x i i equal to 1 to n plus u i. So, this is called as a simple multivariate multivariate models uh, for binary ch binary choice model okay, for binary simple multivariate binary it is otherwise called as a simple multivariate binary choice okay, binary choice simple binary choice models or you can say that simple multivariate multiple binary choice model. Alt multivariate binary choice models all right so simple uh, this is uh, where d g lies between 0 and 0 and 1 limit okay so similarly in the other case we will write p by 1 minus p 
इक्वल टू बीटा जीरो प्लस बीटा आई एक्स आई ए ए समेशन आई इक्वल टू वन टू एन प्लस यू आई ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड आज ए इट इज नॉट ए सिंपल मल्टीवेरिएट रेदर इट इज ए सॉरी इट्स ए मल्टीवेरिएट बाइनरी चॉइस मॉडल्स ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड आज ए मल्टीवेरिएट बाइनरी चॉइस मॉडल्स ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड आज ए मल्टीवेरिएट मल्टीवेरिएट लॉजिस्टिक मॉडल लॉजिस्ट मॉडल्स लॉजिस्ट मॉडल्स ओके सिमिलरली व्हाट यू विल डू यू विल पुट दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मेट जेड इक्वल टू बीटा जीरो प्लस समेशन बीटा आई एक्स आई आई इक्वल टू वन टू एन प्लस यू आई इट इज कॉल्ड आज ए इट इज कॉल्ड आज ए मल्टीवेरिएट मल्टीवेरिएट प्रॉफिट मॉडल फेयर पी इक्वल टू माइनस इनफिनिटिव टू जेड ई टू दी पावर माइनस ई टू दी पावर ई टू दी पावर माइनस यू स्क्वायर बाय टू यू स्क्वायर बाय टू डी ओके ऑब्वियसली टू पाई स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू पाई जी हियर ओके वन बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू पाई जी हियर सो दिस इज दी this is the probable uh, normal distribution function so so what you have to do so that means uh, you see here so we start with is simply mm, you know p component probability yes no situation yes no situation yes no situation uh, sorry probability here yes no situation yes 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 no no yes 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 is yes, like this so this is how this structure is uh, starting point is this one so we will transfer into वन जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो वन वन ओके सो दिस इज ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो नाउ दिस डायरेक्ट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कैन बी अप्लाइड टू दिस वन इफ यू डायरेक्टली हैंडल दिस पर्टिकुलर डाटा विथ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेटअप देन इट इज कॉल एज ए मल्टीफेरियट बाइनरी चॉइस मॉडल सो नाउ इफ यू ट्रांसफर पी इन टू वन माइनस पी बट दिस पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर इज इन सिग्निफिकेंट सो वट यू हेव टू डू इन दैट केस यू टू गो बाई ग्रुप सैम्पल्स फाइंड आउट टू टोटल सैम्पल एन capital n and small sample small uh, small n then obviously you will find the probability probability value n small n by capital n so uh, with that particular value it will come in the ratio format it will not exactly 0 and 1 so it will be in between most of the items will be in between 0 to 1 so obviously p by 1 minus p cannot be uh, uh, undefined so in that case you can go for estimation that means the model will be more accurate or more authentic okay similarly in the case of uh, probit model you will transport the entire data into this normal distribution form, uh, shape then uh, then once it, it will be transport then you have to regress with this particular model so this is how it's called as a uh, probit setup okay so similarly uh, we, we can write like this way also so the simple structure is in the case of binary choice model multivariate multivariate binary choice model so we will write like this way di equal to uh, beta 0 plus beta 1 uh, beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 con continue plus beta k xk plus u and similarly in the case of multivariate uh, multivariate logistic model logistic logit models uh, logit models so that is uh, you know ln ln uh, in fact uh, in fact this is i have made wrong here so it should be log okay log of one this one uh, uh, it, it has to be taken log here okay so that means in the logit case uh, it is log of p by 1 minus p okay so it is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 continue up to beta k xk plus u okay so similarly a multivariate probit models in the case of multivariate probit models so we 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 will have uh, inverse p uh, equal to or it will call it a z then z equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta k xk plus u okay so this is how the model is all about okay so now uh, here the uh, z is followed by uh, z is followed by uh, 1 by 2 uh, pi square root of 2 pi e to the power minus d e to the power minus d square by 2 uh, uh, yes uh, e e to the power minus e square by 
2 d u ok 2 d u obviously uh, uh, ok summation let us say minus infinity to z ok. So, this is how the uh, probability dist uh, sorry normal distribution function is all about all right. So, now, now uh, I will just uh, briefly highlight the exact difference between these two that is means logit model and probit models. Okay. So, what we have to do? Okay. So, uh, out of the three models linear probability model, logit models and probit models. So, linear probability model is one shape and logit, pro logit models and probit model is another shape. Okay. So, now we will see what is the similarity between similarity and dissimilarity between these two. Okay. Dissimilarities between these two. Okay. So, linear probability models is not so much a headache because it is a simple structures where only the transformation is due to binary form 0 1 situation that is yes no situation, but in the case of logit model and probit models. So, it is not a question of yes no situation or binary numbers. So, you have to take a group sample then you transfer these all items into some functional form with the help of some functional form that is through probability distribution function and through you can say normal distribution function all right. So, uh, this is how you have to, uh, to proceed. So, what is the exact, uh, exact difference in the case of logit in the case of logit. So, the probability mass function I will go by simple rule. So, this log p by 1 minus p log p by 1 minus p is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x. Okay. So, this is 1 uh, 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 and sometimes what happens uh, and in the case of uh, probit models in the case of probit models this is nothing but uh, inverse p equal to z then a, a, a inverse z k inverse p uh, uh, so, so, psi inverse p a, a p equal to z which is nothing but beta 0 plus beta 1 x beta 1 x all right. You remember here. So, what you will do? So, this is the sim simple model for logit and probit, but you know we can build like this way. So, the model can be further modified by like this. So, log p by 1 minus p log p by 1 minus p is equal to uh, beta 0 plus beta 1 log x okay so this this can be possible uh, otherwise uh, otherwise the uh, the same same model it can be also for you know for probit model for probit model it can be written as a either uh, either like this okay is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x okay beta 1 x but uh, in the same times you can write like this way uh, p equal to z equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 log x. Okay. So, this can be another format through which you can discuss this you can say logit model and probit model. So, what uh, what I like to mention here is that we have three different uh, sets of models to uh, highlight or to discuss the dummy dependent do, dummy dependency case only. So, that means here the econometric model or regression model in in, in a particular format where uh, dependent variable is a proxy or it is a, a usually called as a categorical or it is binary and others are quantitative in nature. So, uh, uh, if I will uh, summarize all these details means uh, last uh, uh, three four lectures which we uh, means uh, last uh, you know uh, last couple of lectures we have discussed the domain variable modeling. So, dummy variable modeling basically divided into two parts one is a, uh, one part is called as a dummy independent variables modeling and then uh, called as a dummy dependent variable modeling. So, in the case of dummy uh, independent variable modeling then the structure is completely uh, very simple. So, within the simples there is a little bit complexity with respect to bivariate setup and multivariate setups. So, when there is a, a dummy in, uh, means a, Ne, sorry, sorry. The dependent variable is quantitative and independent variable is dummy. Then you know we have a different setups where uh, in one one situation there is one variable which is very much proxy and others are uh, others are quantitative in nature. That is that means all these are with respect to independent variables. In other case, so we have 
multiple domains uh, and multiple independent in quantitative variables, independent quantitative in nature. So, but in all the cases, so we are assuming y is dependent, uh, y is dependent, and which is quantitative in nature. So there is no dummy in the left side. That means dummy is not at, attached with the uh, dependent variable. So, so all altogether there are two situations in this first head. So that means here uh, dependent variable is very much quantitative in nature, and all the cases uh, it should be one. Okay, so one uh, you know dependent variable with one dummy and one independent variable which is quantitative in nature in other case you know uh, one dependent variable which is purely quantitative in nature and there is a series of uh, independent variable which is which are quantitative in nature and series of dummy variables means other variables which is a, a, a binary in representation or categorical in representation or you can say uh, some way of classifications okay so th th because this particular structure otherwise you know there is lots of integration in the multivariate analysis with respect to other application like discriminant analysis conjoint analysis etc so we'll discuss details when there is a, a such needs okay so in another setup uh, 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 setup uh, 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 another setup so we have dependent variables we have dependent variables uh, uh, you know dummy and independent variables are very much quantitative in nature. Uh, uh, we have quantitative in nature. So, what do you have to do in this particular case? So, we have three different uh, models. One is called as a linear probability models, another is called as a logit model and another is called as a probit models. So, in the linear probability models, so uh, we may have again simple one and you have again multi multivariate one. Similarly, in the logistic case, you have a simple one, you have a multivariate one, and in the case of probit model, we have again simple one or multivariate ones. So, in the case of binary choice models, when there is a simple, uh, the setup is a simple, then obviously it is just like di equal to alpha plus beta x i or beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 i. So, here a di is just uh, you know representation of 0 1 representation. Uh, uh, so, uh, it is very simple one, but when we will go for multivariate then d i equal to beta 0 plus uh, summation beta i x i. So, uh, we are assuming that all these independent variables are very much quantitative in nature, but in the dependent variable is a qualitative in nature or you can it is purely binary in a form. Okay. So, that is a linear probability model, but in the case of, uh, uh, but here one thing is that you have to every time you have to use uh, you know individual sample size, but in the case of logit model and probit model. So, you have to go for group samples and in that case the dependent variable is very much dummy uh, and you have to transfer with a particular function. So, so we use logistic function for this transformation and for that you use probability basically we use probability density function for logistic model and we use normal distribution function for the you can say probit models, but the setup is almost all sex. The way we will discuss that particular problem with respect to uh, household income and household having house. So, uh, this can be analyzed under you know binary model, logit model and probit model, but binary model structure is completely different where it, it set up it has a as an integration with the individual sample structure, but here in the logit and probit it is a it is an attachment with the you can say group samples, but you know ultimately the right hand side structure is more or less same for logit model and probit model ultimately it is in the form of uh, function of x only so where x may be individual in nature or multiple in nature so if it is a, a means whatever case it is purely quantitative in nature only thing is in the right hand side it is a qualitative in nature so you have to be very you have to be very careful about its categorization so you can say uh, its transformation so what you have to do so for logit models uh, uh, your transformation rules uh, transformation rule follows probability distribution function so whatever shape is there so you have to transfer into odd man uh, odd ratio so that is the ratio between you know probability of success to probability of failure so that is how you have to find out the, that that particular item is very much important higher is the odd ratio higher is the relevance of the model or lower is the role, odd ratio lower is the relevance model similarly you will transfer this particular uh, information to some form of normal distribution shape in the case of probit models but you know uh, a logit model and probit model are more or less uh, 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 give this similar kind of results so that's why uh, since uh, uh, you know uh, in classroom situation it is very difficult to handle you know 
normal distribution transformation. So, it is better to go by pro, uh, you know logis, uh, logit models, because uh, uh, we means it is empirically we have investigated that uh, there is no much difference, it is uh, value is, is uh, there is small difference, but uh, so far the significance of the model is concerned in the case of pro, pro, probit model or logit model are more or less same. So, uh, but uh, there is a uh, little bit difference, uh, still uh, you have to find out the difference, it means for research point of view, it is better to have the t or to analyze that particular problem with respect to probability distribution functions and as well as with the normal distribution function. That means, uh, that is with the use of probit uh, logit model and with the use of probit models. Okay. So, this is how, uh, this is all about this, you know, and the structure of dummy variable modeling. So, there are two varieties, one is dummy dependent and dummy independent. So, now this particular, uh, this particular topic is very useful for penal data modeling. So, which we will discuss uh, in details in the next class only. So, with this we will conclude this session. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.